everything I've gathered through my own research for the past few months. So pretty much I did all the hard work for you guys and putting it into one video which is all you need to know how to become a freelance model. You won't find this information anywhere quicker so thank me later after you made your career. Everything is in your hands. So my modelling adventure just started with going for some shoots with my friends and you know it was just basically like iPhone pictures and I decided that this is something I really want to get into professionally. So my first studio shoot was January 2017 and it was so fun like I felt so uncomfortable though because obviously previously I'd only be shooting with my friends so it's quite a big jump. Um, after that I started doing some location shoots with different photographers. Basically I kind of found them just through Instagram and then one of them gave me some advice on going on to Purple Pot. So this is my first tip for you guys. Go on Purple Pot, make an account, add some pictures. You don't have to have professional ones straight away. Um, there will be people that want to work with you on TFP basis. TFP basically means time for prints. You don't get paid for them, but you receive the prints. Always make sure that you clarify how much prints you get back. Because if they only give you like two photos, that's a waste of your time. So always make sure everything is, you know, um, mentioned beforehand. Another very important thing is you have to check the photographer. There will be plenty of scams out there, especially Purple Pot. They're usually quite good. They remove, you know, accounts that tend to be fake or anything. However, you want to make sure that you're safe, like 100% read their reviews if they have zero reviews i'd suggest you not working with them another thing you can do is you bring a chaperone chaperone is that how you say it i don't really know i'm polish by the way <laughs> so yeah always bring someone with you just to give you that little bit of confidence as well of course always make sure it's fine with the photographer because some don't like you to bring boyfriends which is understandable um trust me what happens if the photographer says no to bringing somebody with you this might be a red flag you might not want to work with that photographer however I've had plenty of photographers that didn't allow me to bring someone with me and I was so satisfied with the shoot. I felt so comfortable. It's your personal decision, okay? So you can still be safe, you can still work with someone and produce amazing creative shots. If you know, if you feel safe, just do whatever feels right for you, especially at the start. Just bring someone with you and they shouldn't have a problem with it. Before I actually got onto Purple Pot, I was registered at Model Mayhem and that was the kickstart for my career. So I got in touch with a few photographers and obviously the more people you message, the more replies you get. However, you need to be prepared that you will be pied, like you will be ignored. Um, it just happens all the time and don't take it personal at all like there's just some people that might not be looking for your look or like they're just too busy or they're not doing any photography at all at the moment so yeah don't get disheartened please I don't want to sort of you know spend much time explaining Model Mayhem and Purple Pot because I'm giving you enough information here um, you do your research have a look check it out if it's not for you then don't use it it's simple but it, it is beneficial if you want to be freelancing that is where you want to be registered next thing you want to do is look on facebook there's plenty of groups out there freelance models north yorkshire models photographers groups anything like that you just you know search keywords and then it, there would be loads that come up loads so obviously pick the ones with the most um people in there and just post a picture of yourself don't just upload once you want to put your face out everywhere like just upload daily or weekly or anything the more people see you out there working with more photographers the more will actually ask you to collaborate with them instagram instagram is literally like i'm so addicted okay i'll admit i'm so addicted to instagram it's so addictive right it's not just me please tell me it's not just me <laughs> instagram is like your portfolio there's i think everyone that you want to be in touch with everyone will have instagram you want to upload only the best of your photos you want to keep it consistent um upload ideally five times a week 
upload only the photos that are relevant to your Instagram page. So this is where I give you your own research time. I've spent hours, absolute hours, researching how to run Instagram. You can do ads, everything. Like there's just so much opportunity on Instagram. Oh my God, just do it. I'll give you this one tip when it comes to Instagram though. Actually two tips. One is Insta stories. It's so important. Like people want to know what you do. Like people are interested in your life. That's why they follow you. Always update them. Like just chat to them. Just be confident. Be you. And yeah, just give them a lot to get to know you because that's what people like. Um, another tip is you want to be contacting photographers on Instagram. DMs are a huge thing. Like I'd send about 100 messages directly to the photographers I want to work with on a productive day. I don't do this every day. And then from them, it narrows down to like actually working on the same agreement if we like to work with each other after having a chat. So yes, it is tough work. You do have, you know, to spend a lot of your time and sort of not get anything back. But this one photographer that wants to work with you, gives you so much happiness like that gives you the whole satisfaction for all the messages that you've sent and not return anything back <laughs> like honestly at least it does to me like i hope everyone has this happiness inside them like i'm just so happy about everything i do with modeling brings me so much happiness i think if it doesn't make you happy just don't do it just find something else that you're interested in. Once you have a few professional photos and anything that you'd like to upload to your portfolio, then I suggest PortfolioBox.com. It is such a good website. However, when you register, please, 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 please say that you that I got directed you there because then I receive like five extra photos for free that I can upload and it's just, it would help me so much. Like if this is one thing you can do for me back from this video and all the tips, just please do that for me. Once you have your portfolio, you can basically put that in your Instagram bio, send it in the messages that you send to every photographer you want to work with. And then you can sort of have your Instagram more personal again. So again, people like to get to know you, like to see your pets, your food, anything like that, you know, just take advice from people that you follow as well like all the fashion models any influencers like um tammy hembro what the hell like she's killing the game right now so when you really think about modeling you want to be eating healthy you want to be training regular you want to be really looking after yourself or like i never wear makeup when i'm not doing any shoots it's just, I want my, my skin to breathe. And I found that this is the solution for my breakouts. You want to have nice skin. And basically I've been struggling so much with my skin for the past three years. It's just cleared now, like I've got one spot, which I hope you can't see. Um, now you're gonna be staring at it. Great. Pageants are amazing for contacts. Basically, you don't have to even take part in the pageant. You can just go and, you know, watch it and be there and be friendly and smile and communicate with people and suddenly you realise that whoever you speak to is related to modelling and can help you in some kind of way so you want to be you know getting in touch with people even like sitting on the train just chat to the person next to you and get to know them because life is so amazing you can literally say one thing and then it turns out that that person owns an agency or something like you never know but if you don't speak you won't get you always have to ask like a big thing with me i hate asking for anything like it makes me feel uncomfortable but you need to learn that if you don't ask you don't get charity shoots group shoots anything like that it basically puts you in an environment with you know like four or five 10 photographers, five different models, however many, you get to know people, they get to know you. If they like to work with you in a group, they definitely book you for individual shoots as well. Get in touch with another model or two and book a studio day together. And then you can basically like book time slots for each photographer um, and do like a special theme or just like a fashion shoot or anything and then set your rates. So they basically come and yeah, it's all in one location and they 
get specific timings that's a really good way to you know get to work with more people as well and don't just think small you have to think big for your career just because you haven't got like 50k followers doesn't mean that brands won't want to want to work with you so don't just get in touch with photographers get in touch with different brands say that you like the clothes and that you want to promote them for them and um, if they'd like to book you for a shoot or anything that's like a really big thing as well don't think small just think big and just apply like any way you can always be sure that you're worthy of their jobs okay and if you don't live in a city and you're scared that your town hasn't got many opportunities, trust me, it, it does. <laughs> like, it's actually amazing. Like, when you try to find opportunities where you live, they actually appear everywhere. So I recently did a few shoots in my town for local businesses. I recently did a shoot for Alpamare, which, is that how you say it? I never know how to say it. <laughs> so basically, it was a bikini shoot for um, the locations and everything that they've built. So you want to be working with really passionate people that have more of an interest and they want to get better, you know? So I worked with a brand called Flydo um, and they're now on ASOS, like within such a small, you know, space of time. Um, it's just, I think it's amazing. Like, you know, magazine covers, being on ASOS, anything like that. It's, if you work with people that don't mess around they just they don't talk about what they're gonna do they just do it and they surprise you all the time like it's such a rewarding job honestly such a rewarding passion you have to be passionate about this you have to give it your time because you like it you can't do it because you have to or you're like you know you want a big career because of the money you will fail if that's what you want because I know so many brands that just you know oh it's gonna be amazing i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and we'll launch and then you know we'll do more products and they don't promote they don't do anything like that's their personal journey you have to accept that as well and but yeah just basically work with people that are equally as passionate as you are and just go for it go for the jobs say yes to all of them like if you have nothing like better to do and to me like modeling is my highest priority in life then just say yes to everything like any opportunity that comes your way any local businesses anything small can grow big you want to be working with the people that are just starting and going to the top with them obviously if you get an opportunity to work with a brand that is you know on some higher level or anything that's also amazing like good for you go for it just take anything that you can because you want to be a model and that's what it's all about i think it's such a huge topic that i can't squeeze it all into one video because there's you know areas where people won't be interested in instead of making them skip the video, I'll just do a separate one with different topics. I've had so much of my time wasted for people that just wanna chat with me. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll book a shoot. And then all they do is just reply to my stories that even though I love, you know, meeting new people and getting to know people and engaging, and it, it makes me happy, it also wastes a lot of my time. And I'm guilty of it. Like I, I waste so much time on Instagram. I could be doing all sorts, you know, like even spending time with my cat <laughs> i can't believe i did not show you my cat in this video you right one sec <laughs> this is my baby if you follow me on instagram you see her all the time like i'm actually obsessed about her one last thing you really want to work on yourself on your personality it's not all about the looks not everyone wants to just hire you for your face it, it's not all about that you have to know like if you want to be a promotional model you have to know how to sell things you have to know how to approach people i've got your hair in my mouth now <laughs> you want to be kind you want to be funny you want to be like really approachable and yeah just you know friendly just be yourself but it all has to come from a natural place so if you fake it it's not really gonna work however I do believe that if you can fake confidence as much as you want like for example this is gonna be a separate video because I'm so passionate about it as well however you can basically if you don't feel right and you smile you eventually feel that emotion 
Like you feel happy when you fake it. This industry is just, it can be such a magical place, but you have to give it your magic as well. Just be yourself and enjoy it all. I'll make more videos as well about like going more in depth to like purple port and specific topics. Um, but yeah, feel free to message me on Instagram or anything. I'll put my name in the bio below, uh, description, bio, whatever. Um, and comment anything, like, oh, I just love her. I love you. <laughs> yeah, so um, feel free to message me and please like this video and please subscribe so I know that I'm actually doing this for a purpose. And even if this is only gonna help like a handful of people it's still worth it so I'm so glad I could share my information with you now I've got the cat hair in my eyes so